Welcome to my channel. This is Fitness Anytime and Anywhere by Marzena. And today I'm bringing cardio in the water for you. It's gonna be a very intensive workout. We'll be burning a lot of calories and we're gonna burn body fat. How's that? All of this in a water, which is great because it's so much safer for our joints, knee joints, for our spine, and we can still get a fantastic cardio burn those calories, lose extra pounds, yes. So if you are ready, if you love water environment as much as I do, get ready. I'll give you a lot of ideas. This will be all about cardio. Please subscribe if you are new here. In today's class, I will be incorporating some equipment. I want you to find water level around your chest for the first segment. Water temperature should be pretty comfortable. We don't need to warm up for this workout because we're actually gonna warm up with the first segment. Repeat each exercise one to three minutes. This is skip A. We're gonna lift up those knees up and we're gonna go out with circle movement like so to challenge upper body. Now I want you to give it a try first and then choose the fastest version of this exercise. There is zero bouncing up and down. You wanna use the water resistance and really use it for the best workout. Here we go. You want to be fast, you want to be challenged, you want to keep that tempo consistent. There's zero bouncing up and down, but you are welcome to move around the pool. You can move sideways, you can move forward, backward, however you want, but remember, it is the fastest version of you. and recover. Now our recovers are pretty quick, 10 to 30 seconds. And we're gonna move on to the next exercise, knee tucks. So I want you to move both feet off the ground four times and then power jumps four times. Now if for any reason you cannot, you don't want to do power jumps, you just continue with knee tucks. This one is great for abs, and the other one will move your heart rate up, and it's great for legs. Just a quick reminder, we are still very light in the water, so it is a minimum impact. Notice that there are no breaks between one exercise and another one. We'll just put it all together. You keep moving. That's what's gonna burn so many calories. Quick recover again, 10 to 30 seconds. Check on your outfit after those jumps. Trust me on that. And again, back to skip A. We're gonna go with high knees once more. And we're gonna add some arm moves. Now I will show you a few variations here. One without dumbbells and then two more with dumbbells. Again, I want you to feel that's the fastest version of this exercise. You really wanna wrap up those arms with your muscles. Keep on going, keep on breathing. You can go up and down as well. And you can mix up all of those if you cannot decide. And again, quick recover, 10 to 30 seconds. You don't have to stop when we recover. You can move around the pool, you can take a quick water break. That's really up to you. You'll notice that even 30 seconds goes very, very quickly. 
So now we're gonna do hamstring curls and we're gonna use dumbbells for this. But notice I am curling both feet up at a time. So this is actually jump. And we're gonna mix it up with four cheer jumps. You're gonna open up your legs as you jump up and bring them back in on your way down. Let's get going. As before, there are no breaks between one exercise and another. It's a very smooth transition. You keep on moving. Interval workouts are the best workouts if you want to lose extra pounds. Those segments can be short, but you need to feel you are doing your best. And so you are. It's important that you watch this video first, watch till the end. I'm trying to give you as many suggestions as you can, and then be sure to take it to the wall. Don't forget to have fun. Keep on going, control your breath. And remember, you need to keep your lips open. If you are breathing right, you cannot close your lips because you have to exhale. Quick recover again. And now we're gonna do power kicks forward. It's the same leg, the kicks forward. Yes, we are incorporating dumbbells, but I want to give priority to your leg. I want you to kick as hard as you can. Use your imagination. If you can imagine something that you would like to kick, use it. Be very tough. After each kick, you want to push your foot down to the bottom of the pool and slide it behind. Possibly, you want to kick as close to water surface as possible. Switch leg and keep going. There are no breaks between one leg and the other one. Move your arms along. Control your breath. You should notice that your breath is more like a puffing breath. That's how I want you to breathe. And you should feel it at the end of this round. Get yourself a quick recover, maybe water break. And I'm gonna show you next exercise. Now we're gonna bring some kickboxing into the water. It's jump, it's cross, and then side kick. Jump, cross, and again, this kick will also be pretty tough. Now, as before, we want very fast moves. Possibly, you want to be able to keep those dumbbells below the water with jump and cross and then just pull them in towards yourself. Shift your attention to that kick. Control your breath and make sure you don't hold it. Well done. And now we're gonna try the other side and I'm sure gonna show you one more variation that maybe you're gonna incorporate. Stay tuned for that. Very important that we exhale with jump, with cross and also with kick. Did you see that? I did move one the other foot of the ground. Yes, you can try that as well. But if that's gonna slow you down, skip it. Tempo first. Quick recover, and I'm showing you next exercise. Wide jogging. So we're gonna open up those feet, open up those toes, knees out, and we push dumbbells down, elbows off the water. You want to feel how you are shifting your body weight side to side. You can move forward, backwards, you can go around. Again, that all depends how much space you have. Moving around is fun. 
You can move all the way around one way and then turn around the other way. Anytime we create water flow and we choose to go against it quickly, we definitely challenge our body more. Keep that in mind. And quick water break. Now we are almost halfway through so make sure you drink some water. Here's the next exercise. We're gonna kick forward back to the side with same leg and then jump out with both legs. I call the first set sequence kicks around the world and then we do jump, cheer jump. I'm not using any equipment for this exercise. I think it's so much things that we have to focus on here that it would be just distraction. Keep going. Keep that tempo consistent. And let's grab dumbbells. See how that goes with dumbbells? Well, you're definitely gonna notice that you are moving slower, but that cheer jump is more fun. So you choose which version of this exercise works for you, or if you like both, choose your favorite. Keep on going and move fast. Keep on moving and eventually head for a quick recover or maybe water break. This is official that we are halfway through with this workout at this point. And you should feel thirsty. Now we're gonna put dumbbells away. I wanna show you another exercise. For this one, you don't need much space, but we will move to the side. Now I prefer to keep this one short. So it's the sideways run. I am crossing my feet and I'm crossing my hands like this. This is a slower version of this exercise. You can move backward with like the zigzag movement or you can, you can just go side to side. If you have the entire lap lane for yourself, then go for it. The most challenging part is when you change direction, right? So that's why we keep it very, very fast. You're not gonna see yourself uh, on one spot for longer than half a second. You just keep going, keep going, keep going. And again, quick recover. Now we're gonna run around the circle again if you have full lap lane for yourself you can go one way and then come back but if you're not that lucky then go around the circle and then maybe after two or three reverse and try maintain the same tempo to challenge your upper body scoop the water push it behind scoop Keep your fingertips linked. Use your core, use your whole body really here. And quick recover. Obviously I have way more exercise for you. That's another one where we don't need equipment. Aqua jacks and then split jumps. This is the same with cheer jumps. So go ahead and put your hands over the water. Keep those jacks fast and then split jumps. Push your hands down, push those feet out. Four and four, easy to remember. Four by four. Why didn't you, why didn't 
Keep on going and don't slow down. That's what matters, that you pick a tempo and then you maintain it. Now, obviously, you can do this one with aqua dumbbells as well. It's not gonna make it more challenging above the water, but in the water, absolutely. Keep going, keep going, and don't worry about your makeup, ladies. You can always fix it. All right, now we're gonna do power kicks aside. As before, just remember number four. We'll begin with four punches, it's actually cross, and kicks. After each kick, I want you to tuck this knee in. This is one of the best up exercise. And if you want to see more great up exercise, I will link a great video for you at the end of this one. If you are doing best you can, you're also going to hear yourself doing more of the puffing sound. Now this is different option. We're gonna do the same kicks without dumbbells. You're just gonna push the water away, create a little bit of splash. It's way easier for your upper body, but it, you can actually move your heart rate faster and maintain it easier because it's not gonna slow you down. And then you can transition to single, so you're gonna have alternate kicks, and now with your arm, you just create a little bit of the wave. You can also move around, take it forward, take it back. And when you feel it's enough, take a quick recovery break, drink some water, and get yourself ready for the next, for the next one. Now for this option, I recommend you move to a little deeper water level, closer to your shoulders. Now we're gonna begin with water sprints, and I want you punch forward and move your knees up and down as quickly as you can, then push your feet against the wall, like wall jumps, up and down, up and down, so you move both feet off the ground. You use your arms to balance. Then you're gonna sprint again. And again, I only keep it for a few seconds, but you can definitely do it longer. And I'm gonna show you another variation also that you can mix with those water sprints. Just remember, it is the fastest version of this exercise. The best version of you. This way, you can keep this workout under 30 minutes and really burn a lot of calories. Now, you can choose to do get out jumps, right? Like you are trying to get out of the pool. This one is great for our arms, for chest. Or you can continue pushing your feet back to the wall. Keep on going. We are getting closer to an end. We are not there yet. And you will notice that at the end, you slow down. I am already slowing down. I'm sure you can tell. But it's important that you keep that mindset, that you stay focused. It's very important how we finish each workout. Don't move too far away from the wall because we want those transitions smooth, remember? All right, so now we're gonna go up and down, but just one leg touches the bottom of the pool. It's a little bit harder, and then you're gonna switch leg. And definitely quick recovery. Now I want you to grab pool noodle 
we will be now incorporating it don't push it too deep just bring your hands in the water you want to see that splash around you and you want to feel it's pretty light because you're going to be moving fast remember this is cardio we don't want that much of the resistance we want good tempo we are twisting right hand toward left knee and then every now and then check if noodle is still in this position you can also turn around move forward move backwards move sideways just keep tempo as your priority you can also try this variation when you pull noodle close to yourself or let's say four and then away from yourself for the next four now is that fun or what yes it was all right and we're gonna slow things down now i want to show you a few great exercises for core just to encourage you to watch my next video that's going to be linked to this one this one is where we do like a cross-country skiing but on the wall i'm showing you this my feet moves here just so you could see it but imagine there's a wall there you go one leg forward one back and then you jump down the wall is now right in front of me so i go one two and then jump down you can do it with weights or without and guess what you're gonna feel your abs are on fire at the end of quick set so give it a try i know that's gonna convince you to watch that next video now so we were going like this and down and now watch we'll go side to side and this one is really tricky so you're gonna turn sideways and now you go one two jump down and then switch side you see i take a moment to move my upper body a little across and then i face the wall again So again, if there was a wall, and you don't have to do it against the wall, but it is actually more challenging if you actually push your feet against something. If you don't have that option, and if you, let's say, are doing this workout in the middle of the ocean, then you're just gonna copy exactly what I'm doing right here. So we're gonna do a few more and again just to prove my point that you don't need dumbbells for this you just have to move your arms pretty quickly to stick to the wall and the other option and you know what i feel like spider-man when i do this one <laughs> you can mix it with cross-country skiing just idea how to blend it all together right so we can do kind of cross country on the wall and then four more on the bottom of the pool and i always encourage you you slow down at the end of your workout you don't want to do something very intensive and then suddenly stop and go home take a moment maybe do some strength uh, training maybe some balance exercise and then definitely stretch now i want to show you one more exercise that is a great for cool down i want you go to a deeper part of the pool and just float just do anything you possibly can to float you cannot touch the bottom of the pool so you can kick it you can move around however you want to you can shake those muscles and this is pretty cool thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it let me know which was your favorite exercise and also let me know in your comments what other exercise you would like to see i have a lot of ideas and if you subscribe you're gonna see me on facebook
on YouTube more often and I will pop there with my new video, I promise. That's the video I mentioned. It's gonna be linked at the end. Please subscribe, please share with your friends, let them know about my channel. Help me to grow my channel so I can have a great big audience. Bye now.